While the Atlanta Dream may headline mainstream discussions about sportsmanship, their elements remain adept at forming chemistry, even with first-year point guard Lindsey Harding. Considered the biggest mover in the offseason, Harding attributes her dream bond to franchise player Angel McCautry. Being able to come to Atlanta to play is something that she really wanted me to do, and uh, we get along great. Everybody knows you have to have uh, good chemistry with your quarterback, right? You want that quarterback to throw you the ball? So it's just one of those type things. You, you got to have that chemistry, got to know your roots. She knows where to throw the ball. We all get along so well. Um, there's uh, such great people on this team, and it, it really helps us on the court. You know, we know each other well, and um, a lot of us have been together for a few years now. So I'm um, just having that chemistry out there, being able to know um, what the other one is doing is very important. McCautry's appearance in the 2010 Finals, coupled with Harding's annual increase in shooting percentage and desire, created a mutual attraction. She definitely contacted me beforehand asking, do I like Atlanta? Would I like to play there? And uh, when it happened, it's just, you know, we, we have the same goals and the same mission, which is to get to this point right now to play for a championship and to win a championship. So that just kind of having that in common, we clicked. And uh, she's one of my, you know, she will always be one of a great friend to me. Lindsay is the leader, she's the point guard, so like, I know it's hard for her because she has to have her different chemistry with each person. She's just helped this team tremendously. Um, she's just having a tremendous year, and um, you know, she, she again is an extreme um, intense competitor who wants to win, and exact, is exactly what we need. I knew she was fast and quick, but now I know like, you know, what spot she likes to pick, where she likes to throw the ball, what areas that she can score, and vice versa, so. It's, it's, you just learn that from playing with each other. The bonding allows Harding and Miller to view McCautry from lenses not revealed to the television audience. On the court, she's a competitor, and I'm a competitor, so it's easy to play with. And she's also a player that you don't want to play against, you want to play with, so that's great to have that. And then off the floor, she is a great role model. Um, she wants to be big for the community. Angel's a tremendous player. She just wants to win, um, like everyone else. Um, she's you know, intense and an extreme competitor, and um, you know, she just does a great job out there, playing hard all the time. She has a lot of passion. That's one thing about Angel. She's very, very passionate. And if you watch her play, you can definitely see that. So that shows through. But you know, she's a fighter. She came and scored 19 points in one quarter. Uh, that right there shows you how much uh, passion and heart and love she has for this game. Everyone wants to play at the same level, extremely high. And every game, you know, she does a great job of bringing it to that level. So if we can all match it and play just as well and as high, um, we have a great chance of winning. They also view the molecular structure of McCaudry's alter ego. But the now publicized figure may soon disintegrate. Let's talk about this Lorianne character. I'm done with Lorianne. <laughs> I realize I did a lot of thinking. You, you don't have to, you know, have an alter ego. I'm Angel McCaudry. I'm going to be Angel Kosher, flaws and all. When you know Angel and you see her off the floor, she is probably one of the most sweetest people who have the biggest hearts, who loves everybody. But, you know, on the floor she is a competitor. She wants to win. She wants to do whatever it takes to win, no matter what it looks like or what people think. And I think that's what has made her so great. I don't need Lorianne anymore. So what you see is what you get. I'm an open book. And, you know, whether I'm having a good game, bad game, it's all Angel. I really got to know who she, who Angel is as a person. A lot of people see someone on the court or see someone on TV and have the thought of this is who she is and this is how she is, but that, that's not who she is. She's just very passionate and very competitive on the floor. Orianne's gone. I kicked her out the window. <laughs> so I just... Where's Coach? <laughs> coach, right? Lorianne is out the window. This is Lorianne. Some people tell me on the court, Lindsay, smile more. When I'm off the floor, I'm always smiling. I'm always, I mean, you just have to know her. And most of these people that are writing or talking or saying that will never know who Angel McCautry really is. They'll just know the on-court angel. Uh, so hopefully people just, if you're going to judge her, judge her for her performance. And if you're going to judge her for who she is, make sure you really know who she is before you pass judgment. One particular assist from the playoff scoring leader formed an atomic bond with Harding and Miller. At the end of the game on September 6th, and it was my birthday, and um, yeah, we uh, kind of, Angel kind of got the whole crowd involved in saying happy, happy birthday to me, so 
That was kind of neat, yeah. Angel did a good job singing it. It was a fan appreciation night, and Angel grabbed the microphone to thank the fans. And before, she's like, oh, we're going to sing Happy Birthday to Coco. And so she starts singing, we all sing. And then at the end, she just like hangs on, like, Happy Birthday to you. She like hangs on to you for so long. Like, she's just singing and like gets down on her knees because she gets so into it. You guys didn't know, I do music. You do music. Okay. It's coming out soon. Stay tuned. McCautry then left one last example of chemistry to prove the dream's hypothesis about teamwork. Hey, Lindsay! Here's a moment now. <laughs> I miss ya! <laughs> Have a great interview, okay? Okay, can we do that? The color purple. No. Does it go like this? <laughs> Okay, Don't go too far. Out. Just stay over there, okay? I'll be right here. Have a good interview. Say good things, okay? This team really does have fun with each other. Um, win a game, lose a game. We don't change the atmosphere. We want to keep things consistent. And we do have a lot of fun. We do joke. We laugh. Every practice is going to be something that we're all laughing at, smiling at, and just having fun because, yeah, we want to win a championship, but in the end, it's really about the journey. And I've enjoyed this journey. And uh, definitely, we'll top it off if we do win a championship. Well, that's definitely going to grow to 2012 because um, she still has another year in her contract, and I do. So that's really good that we get to play another year together. Of course, Angel and Lindsay, you know, they stand out in their own right. Um, and, you know, Sancho, Erica, they all, they all do great. And the rest of us here are here, you know, to support them and um, hopefully play well. No matter how Atlanta finishes in the WNBA Finals, their roster may remind all fans to examine cohesion beyond traditional press coverage. Mike Peden, TSB Sports.